home again, home again. One day I know. I have vivid memories of where we lived right from the day of our arrival in Toronto. Our first house was at Weston in the northwest part of Toronto. It was a small house, it was a bungalow, and it was home. One day I know I feel strong again. Lift my head. My grandparents fled Turkish Armenia and settled in Egypt, where my parents and my generation were born. And in the early 60s, my parents decided to, to immigrate. The whole opportunity of coming to Canada, and I, have, I give my parents full marks on this, it was, it was presented to us, to myself and my sister Nairi, as an adventure. You know, you come from a country where you play in a closed off uh, front yard in your home. You don't have this sense of freedom. And here we, we felt that we could truly explore, run around, ride our bikes. We didn't feel any, any hardship. Even though my parents were reestablishing themselves, somehow they tried very hard that our generation saw it as a great big adventure. Moving on, so I'll close my eyes and look behind the moon. Armenia was not an independent country in those days, so we really didn't have the sense of home. Uh, or a homeland, and Canada, as we established ourselves and built relationships in neighborhoods and in communities, offered us that. As Armenians, we have this desire to contribute to the preservation of our language and culture. The last piece of the Iron Curtain still standing, still till today, is between Turkey and Armenia. And most of that stems from the fact that Turkey does not recognize the Armenian genocide you realize that all of the stories you've heard about the genocide and the hardships, you develop almost through osmosis a, a sense of, of hatred. And as I grew up, I said to myself, I think there must be a better way of, of dealing with this. And that was kind of the spark that led over time to the formation of the Mosaic Institute, not to address just Armenia and Turkish issues, but to provide a platform where diaspora communities could gather to address conflicts in their homelands. I look at it as really a celebration of Canada. Home again, home again. I can only say that coming to Canada uh, was, a, was a gift, as I truly believe that Canada is an amazing country and has values and principles that we should export given the opportunity. And if we're not given the opportunity, we should seize the opportunity and seek the opportunity. I can't imagine my life without Canada. It was a gift, and as I say to my parents, thank you for the gift of country.